guys so today we're going to be doing something a little different i wanted to use this as a base yes i started like putting clay in random spots to see if that can make it stick and i finally figured out that if you scratch the living jenkins out of it it'll actually stick so without further ado let's make a person all right french fries you know the drill we're going to cover this entire thing with clay just smooth it out so there's no bubbles and it's just connected to the plastic and then we're going to start doing the coral my vision for this was to make a statue that was underwater so i did coral i did a whole bunch of like animals that are under the sea and of course seaweed on the bottom to kind of cover the feet because I had to cover it entirely of clay because if not it was going to topple over so I had to make sure that it had a stable base. You can see that I'm doing all these rocks and to kind of get the rock detail all you do is just roll up a piece of tin foil and then just press into it and it turns into a rock. Now this little booger, this thing took me <laughs> six tries to try to get this thing done. Holy moly, but once I got it done and I started putting him up, he looked really cute and it looked like he just, he just belonged in the scene. go and then I do more little seaweed and rock and coral. You can't forget coral. Now time to do the turtle. It took me a couple of tries to do the turtle only because I wanted to make sure that it would fit on her leg. And the first one was a little too big, so the second one was a little smaller and it was easier to put up. to put an extra piece of clay on top because apparently his shell was way too close to the ground and so I made him a little more 3D. Starting to do the other seaweed that is going to go in between the legs to wrap around the other leg. And of course we can't forget the rock and the coral and all the little animals that are going to be all around that leg. And this piece, holy moly, doesn't have details. So I hope you guys really like this one. legs for the little octopus and this little guy is turning out so cute and I decided to put him all on her leg and it was just basically climbing up and then this is when my brain gave me the most amazing idea it was like 
Damn it, instead of it going up to the head, why don't I use a little octopus to be her head? <gasps> I love that idea. So then at the end, I do do that and I do put the little octopus on top of the head rather than on her leg. on this thing. I have never done an under the scene theme that was so detailed that at the end I love it so much that it was just its own personality. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Don't I say that about every piece I do? Yeah, I love it. Then I put the little octopus back on her leg, like I said, but I do change this because I love the other idea more. And then I was going to leave a little eel like going through her legs, but I thought that it was just way too busy on the bottom and I discard the little eel. And then her arms were like they were taken off after a while, so I used little tin foil to bump up the bottom so it looks like it fell off. a little seahorse. I did make him a little bigger than he's supposed to be just so that he doesn't get lost in the crowd. Now this big old snake of clay I'm trying to make it the thinnest I can because I'm going to do armor for her. like a trident in the back. So cool. And then I decided to make a little belt on her just to keep up with the entire scheme of things and I also define her breastbone and everything else. Uh, 
Alright, and then three, two, one, poof! <laughs> There's a little octopus that I said looks way better on top. And now all I'm doing is just going to paint. And the entire thing I paint it with black, I paint it with white, red, orange, yellow, some greens, and just to top it all off to make it look white, I use resin to finish the entire piece. So I hope you guys like it. This project took about 12 hours to make and finish, and all that stuff took me an entire week to actually condense and make this little 15 minute video for you guys. So I hope you like it and enjoy the rest of the video.
And here you go, you guys. Oh, I love it so much. And I love the personality of the animals. Just everything about it came out so pretty. I love it so much. And if you guys liked it too, or loved it too, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!